We get up at about 5.30 in the morning. We generally go to work right around 7 o'clock. It's a good life. I enjoy seeing each refuge in its own state. I just look forward to every morning, I guess. We bring cumard oak, pin oak, cypress, just numerous oak trees. Probably, what, 10, 10 different species of trees. We planted up to 10,000 trees one year. When people think about deforestation, they think about the Amazon, they think about Indonesia, but it is happening here in the United States. In the U.S. alone, we've lost more than 20 million acres of bottomland hardwood forests across the Gulf Coast region, across the southeast. Uh, we have maybe four or five million acres left. The lower Mississippi River Valley at one time was a 25 million acre contiguous block of bottomland hardwood forests. Back when I was a boy, they uh, was running dough bulldozers everywhere, uh, cutting trees down. The partnership with the Conservation Fund fits perfectly in with our mission as the Fish and Wildlife Service. It's a win-win situation for everybody involved. Things have changed dramatically. If you're destroying or deteriorating or degrading your forest, you're not trapping as much carbon. I don't think I was aware that I was emitting carbon until a couple of years ago. I was shocked. <laughs> Um, just sort of the, the, you know, the average person with you know, 20 tons of carbon a year. This is such an easy process. On the homepage of the Conservation Fund, there's this little green footprint and it says calculate. Well, you can go on to conservationfund.org slash go zero. Type in, you know, from your home personal use, what, what is your carbon footprint? I think that's the last step. Yep, there it is. Um, 23 tons, that's more than my average, but there it is. I like something very, you know, that I can hold on to and, you know, I spent my youth climbing trees and digging in the mud and um, walking in the woods. I think when people want to know where does my money go, they want to know that they're investing in a program that is efficient, that works, that delivers results, and that's positive for biodiversity and for community. The trees is, is, is really uh very helpful to the environment because like I say not only does it sequester carbon but it also trees living plants give off oxygen that all human beings have to have to breathe. I think it's absolutely urgent to uh, provide more habitat for wildlife while also trapping carbon in these trees. It's I think the biggest challenge that I would say to my kids and what I hope I pass on to my kids is that to to know nature to really love nature you have to experience it and it's all of our responsibility to try to do something to protect it. Of course, I'm a farmer by heart, and I love to farm. I love to, I love the outdoors, and I think it's probably a lot of land that shouldn't have been cleared that was cleared. I mean, Mr. Bradshaw is the last endangered species. What one man can do, I think, uh, with a lot of dedication and spirit that he has, I think the Mr. Bradshaws of the world are the ones that we have to save. I'm gonna say the last 20 years, we've planted 25 years, 20 years, We've planted between two and 3,000 acres a year. I think it's good for environment. I think it's good for our air. I think it's good for our country, you know, really. I feel good about it. I really do. I've helped our United States of America, and that's, that's to me, that's great. I'm, I'm pretty patriotic. <laughs>